अब क्या होता है कि जब हम जियोलॉजिस्ट क्या बोला तूने जब हम जियोलॉजिस्ट अब क्या होता है कि जब हम जियोलॉजिस्ट जियोलॉजिकल हैमर लेके फील्ड में जाता है और एक पत्थर को खोदना शुरू करता है और अंदर से उसके ट्रायलोबाइट्स निकल आते हैं तो हम चुप करके कह देते हैं कि ये कैम्ब्रियन और ऑडोवेशियन है क्यों क्योंकि हमें पता होता है कि ये ये फॉसिल सिर्फ तभी मिलता था उसके बाद ये एक्सटिंक्ट हो गया अच्छा यानी लिटरली इस आदमी ने ट्रायलोबाइट्स को इसने कैम्ब्रियन ऑडोवेशियन में रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया कि उसके बाद वो एक्सटिंक्ट हो गए यानी जिसे ये भी नहीं पता कि ट्रायलोबाइट्स के फॉसल्स पेरमियन एज तक मिलते रहे जो पेलियोजोइक का एंड का टाइम है तो ये तकरीबन कोई लगभग कोई 200 मिलियन साल का टाइम बनता है कि इस अरसे तक भी ये फॉसल्स मिलते रहे मुझे नहीं समझ आती कि यह कैसा जियोलॉजी का एक्सपर्ट है फिजिक्स का एक्सपर्ट है जिसको यह बेसिक बातें भी नहीं पता क्योंकि आप जियोलॉजिस्ट नहीं हो मैं हूं ना मुझे पता है इस बात का ठीक है I have a kind of feeling that he seriously does not understand the philosophical arguments that he is usually presenting. So the first question that these guys asked him was can you prove existence of god in one minute? And he starts saying that there is google and the reason for google is you know uh, computers and computers are created by human beings and this and that. So he says that for the existence of google there is an infinite you know infinite chain of causes that caused google and in the end he says that this infinite regress of causes needs to be solved and it can only be solved by the existence of a necessary self sufficient independent entity that is known as god google relies on the internet the internet relies on the computer the computer rely on us and electricity and this goes on we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things kyunki aap geologist nahi ho main hu na mujhe pata hai is baat ka theek hai for the existence of google there is an infinite you know infinite chain of causes that caused google easy example the sun and its rays the rays of the sun depend on the sun no sun no rays the continued existence of the sun explains the continued existence of the rays so if you have no sun you will have no rays acceptable yeah so we have to differentiate between causation and dependency when we're talking about an infinite co- uh, an infinite series of dependent things is different from talking about an infinite series of caused things wherein in the latter in the infinite series of caused things It, the thing doesn't have to be there in order for continuation to be there like your parents mm-hmm. could conceive you and then they die and you continue in the end he says that this infinite regress of causes needs to be solved we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things i have a kind of feeling that he <laughs> seriously does not understand the philosophical arguments that he usually presenting <laughs> i don't know why ye bhi aap geologist nahi ho main hu na mujhe pata hai is baat ka theek hai hath manush lag raha hu mat karo rehne lo rehne bahut bure lag raha hu toba 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 thara mood kharab kar diya <laughs>